everyone! Today we are visiting Sugarleaf and I'm very excited to tour this island because the pictures on Instagram look absolutely beautiful and as you can tell from the flyover it already looks great. Um, the terraforming looks super pretty. And I believe she said that we can just wander around, so that should be fun. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> she said that she needs some presents. I can see that she utilized this barbed wire fencing, which I think is actually really cool and I want to start doing that on my island too. I definitely have not done that yet. I'm going over this way. Oh, she has her evil sisters right here. Okay, I need this little um, item here. I don't have it. The little spinning wheel, but it's so, so cute. down to the beach. I love the way that she decorated it here. Um, I feel like putting the statue on the beach is a really cool idea. And I love the hats here right in front of Abel Sisters. I think that's a really cute idea. Another nice little spot on the beach. Super pretty. I love this little pathway here. Very nice. Jumping over this. Oh wow, look at all the QR codes on the ground over here. So pretty. I will definitely try to link all of these in the description for you guys, in case you're interested in any of them. Oh, this is so cute. I love this little spot here. Is that a little sewing kit? I think so. I love that. It's up here. Nice little stall area. The little beehive on the, the stool there. Cute. Oh wait, I love how that little mat is on the um, the table right there. A little fishing spot. Very cute. Oh, and there's even a fishing pole right there. I love having the little um, the wood tables and stools along the beach with this QR code. It looks really, really nice together. Nice little silo sitting area. I need to take another picture. There's too many good picture spots on this island. so cute. So she asked me to um, make sure that I got every little corner of her island. Sorry about that little cut there. My, my mom was asking if anyone wanted ice cream and then my dog started freaking out because apparently she wants some ice cream.
keep going up this way just to keep um, keep the flow going. So it looks like we have a little greenhouse garden shop right there. And then a very cute little gardening spot over here. utilizing the art of the little seating area right here. That's really nice. Going up this way, a little tiny library. This is her house. Wow, oh, this is beautiful. I love this little table right here. She's got the, the wood on top of that cart there. That's really cute. A gnome. <laughs> I love that. I love this path here. All right, I'm going to go inside her house for a bit. I, um, before I explore the rest of the island. Looks like it's a white theme in here. Just some accents of black and kind of some dark wood. I love this QR code. She made it look like it's a door. That's really, really, really cool. All right, I'm gonna go in this room. Just the door is calling to me. the yellow bridge with the orange box on top and the accents of orange the carrot cake that's so cute the flooring in here is really cool too it's like stone wait I've never seen this like leaf chair before what is that I love that I need that that's so cute that would work perfectly in like my forest area check out this room next. This is very cute. This looks like this is her walk-in closet area. I love this. The little wash tub and then um, the water pump. Really nice and I love the clothes that she has hung up on the wall there. stakes inside. I, I don't know if I've seen anyone else do that. That's really cool. Really relaxing and very delicate and pretty. This room is so nice. It's a very eclectic looking bedroom. It looks very lived in, which I I like a lot. Oh, the QR codes of the windows on the wall. That's really pretty. Hats on the wall. Very nice. Oh, this little vanity here. That's super cute. I love all the artwork that she's put on the wall. That's very nice. in here and the statue that's so pretty what else 
sewing machine right here, little drawing desk right here, another sewing machine. Very cool. The statue it looks so pretty. go check out this area behind her house now because that looked really cool. Let's see what's down this way. Oh, it's her secret beach. That's so nice. I love that. Alright, we're gonna go up this way. See what's over here. It looks like we've got some villager houses over here. Little gnome, a mush lamp picnic basket. I love the barbed wire fencing. Yeah, so this looks like a little neighborhood area. Super cute. Little well here, a little eating spot. Lots of flowers. I really love the colors. The pink and white with the brown path it looks really really nice this chair is really cute just tucked away back there in the trees uh, I love when people do that with the table and all the different chairs look so cool cypress bathtub I love the cypress bathtub I think it's so pretty very just serene looking. Alright, so I finally got unlost, which is good. I love the terraforming. It feels so cozy. Is there anything back here? Oh, it's a little secret pathway. That's really cute. And the signs leading you through the neighborhood. Little details in all the villagers' yards. They're all different, a little bit unique. The mush lamps, another seating area right there, a little work spot. That's so cute. A little barbecue. Alright, I'm gonna head over this way. museum is over here with some fossils. Oh no, I did not mean to go inside. <laughs> Whoops. I feel like my controller is being weird today. I don't really know why. I love these little fossils outside. This little pathway. Oh, I love this spot. here. A little coffee shop spot in the library. Telescope. I love that spot a lot. And then back here we've got looks like kind of a little cafe extension of the library onto the beach. Really pretty. The little piano and the plant as well as the microphone. some terraforming over here. The lighthouse looks really nice up there. So then going back this way we've got a little bike. Oh here's our campsite. That's really nice. I love the wood paneling on the uh, the simple panel here. Makes it feel a little bit area of the beach. And then we've got another little sitting area with a fountain. Very, very cool. Oh, I love this spot. Wow. On the beach. 
beach here. It feels so cozy. I love the contrast with the dark with the, the accents of the light. Oh, this is so cute. I don't know why this is giving me like if the Mad Hatter was cottagecore, I feel like this pier is where he would hang out. <laughs> um, I love that. That's really cute. up this way in their own little seating area I feel like that would be like a little romantic date spot Ugh, this view is so cute I love that and then we've got a little bit more pathing over here oh that's so pretty I love this oh using the rock as a the seat is a really cool idea. It's over here. Some cool terraforming right there. All these island tours are really inspiring me to um, kind of spruce up my terraforming. I feel like it's very, very, very minimal and basic. And some of these people are just so talented create so many cool little spaces and I feel like whenever I try to terraform I just feel like it looks very cluttered and then I get very stressed out and I don't like that so we've got the plaza up here all right so we're back over here I think I definitely missed some stuff in the middle here so we've got a little cafe area up here beehives, a little bit of lavender, that's really nice. I want to actually do something like this where I put my cafe up a level, I think it looks really nice. I really like it. A little secret pathway over here, tiny library, stack of books, two of my favorite DIYs. Going back over this way, alright we already saw it over there. telephone box. I really love this little spot right here. It's really simple, but it looks like a really beautiful place to sit. There she is. She's so cute. Going back over this way. I think I... Oh yeah, I haven't seen this area yet. Oh wow. This is so, so cute. I love this spot. This might be, I think, my favorite spot on the island. Look at that view. I mean, are you kidding me? That's so pretty. Clothesline over there. Little pathway over here. Great. I'm getting a little bit lost, but it's fine. I want to get up here. I think there's here. I love this. This is like a little winery spot looking over the farm. That's so pretty. Alright, going back down this way. Okay. We're here. Oh, I see another ramp. Spot. I love this uh, mixture of flowers right here with like the cow tree. Looks so pretty. Uh, I need to redo my island after seeing this one. I'm feeling very inspired to do some more terraforming. We've seen everything. Have you seen this area over here? Maybe not. A little seating area tucked away in there. I think we saw up there. Little mushroom stool. Oh no, it's her way. Oh no. <laughs> This 
this is just an incredible view. I mean, so pretty. Oh, the little peach is her flag. I love that. Okay, so I think we've seen everything. So before I leave, I just want to check out the map. Let you guys see that. So that's her little um, town area up here and lots of rivers and like scattered pathing. It's really nice. And as you can see down right in the front, it's a little bit more like, residential and built up. And then it gets a little bit more natural as you go farther up, which I really, really like. So I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for a lot more island tours coming up and I am thinking of doing a stream sometime soon and I kind of want to move the campsite and I'm thinking of moving a bunch of my villagers houses. So stay tuned for all of that. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!